Here in Bucha, one of the worst scenes of Russian atrocities, things are moving into a new phase, with the bodies now exhumed from mass graves. They're being brought here uh, to the morgue and identified, uh, and family members are also lining up here to receive the bodies of their loved ones for burial. We met Inna and her cousin Yulia. They came here waiting for the body of Inna's ex-husband to be released. Vladislav was 43 and he was shot on the street here in Bucha. He had documents with him which made identifying him much easier than some other victims. They're now going to take him away and give him a proper burial. Nobody can believe that this would happen in the 21st century. We can't believe it. The Russian soldiers were barbaric. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has been to Moscow for talks with Vladimir Putin from the end of that big long table. He said he was deeply concerned about what he described as possible war crimes, but Vladimir Putin used the opportunity to deny Russia was involved in the Bucha atrocities, despite all the evidence, and he again claimed that Russia's invasion was justified. I say once again, those were desperate measures to stop the suffering of people living in those territories. Unfortunately, our Western colleagues chose to ignore that. In a major turnaround, Germany has now agreed to send heavy weapons into Ukraine. It's resisted until now. Up to 50 of these Gepard tank vehicles with anti-aircraft guns will be sent into Ukraine. And that's been welcomed by the US Defence Secretary who was meeting with his counterparts in Germany. So we've got to move at the speed of war. And I know that all the leaders leave today more resolved than ever to support Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression and atrocities. Here in Butcher, international teams are still working to help identify people's cause of death. Investigators say that some people were shot, others died in explosions or from shrapnel injuries. Uh, other people, it seems, may have starved to death while they were hiding from the Russians. And then there were those who simply didn't have access to medical care. Of course, all of this will now feed into a war crimes investigation, but it's likely to be many years before people here come even close to getting some sort of justice.